Hi everyone and welcome back to your real conversation English lesson with me, Chris. I'm your teacher and I'm excited to have you back with me practicing how to be fluent in a conversation. Today we are going to talk about cooking. It's one of my favorite things. I said that when we did the restaurant lesson. So I'm excited to hear your answers and see what you write. Now remember, if you are new here, subscribe to my channel. And if you like my lessons, hit that like button. I really appreciate it. The lesson is going to progress like this. I will give you the question and give you some time to answer it. Then at the end, I will give you my answers to these questions. But what I really want you to do is write your answers in the comments section under the video. That way I can correct them and you can practice with the perfect answers for your idea. Let's get started because I have the air conditioner off and it's very hot in here. <laughs> My classroom is above a hospital clinic in this building. So in Korea, they make medicine called Hanyak and right under my classroom is where they brew. They cook this Hanyak and it is so hot in my room. So hopefully I can finish this without sweating <laughs> because it's hot. Okay. Okay. Let's get started. Question number one in your home. Who usually cooks? So hot. <laughs> okay, okay. How often do you cook? Now, how well do you cook and what can you cook really well? Hmm. Hmm. I love trying new foods, so that sounds delicious. What are advantages or disadvantages of cooking? Hmm. <sighs> so hot. <clears throat> All right, cool. What food would you like to learn how to cook? Someone's driving around. They might be selling some produce or doing some political thing. They have trucks with these loudspeakers that drive around in Korea. It was very annoying when I first moved here, but I'm I'm used to it now. I can ignore it. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> now it's my turn to answer these questions in your home. Who usually cooks? Well, I usually cook, but like I said before, I buy most of my food from restaurants. So, uh, normally <laughs> no one really cooks right now. Uh, I don't even own a microwave because I just don't like what it does to the texture of the food and how it destroys the minerals. So I don't usually cook at home anymore. How often do you cook? Pretty much never. Uh, maybe once a week. And that's usually because I am just starving late at night. So I cook some eggs or something like that because I don't keep food in the house. Um, how well do you cook and what can you cook well? I am a very good cook. <laughs> I'm a very good cook. I love cooking. I enjoy it. I enjoy the process of making food, especially the cutting and preparing of the ingredients. I like cooking that follows that real 
process to it. And then there's places where I can add something special and unique for me. What can I cook really well? I am, I have gotten lots of very good compliments on my stuffed mushrooms. I make a very nice stuffed mushroom with uh, meat and cheese. And I have a very good pork tenderloin, which I will never give the recipe for. And also, oh, one of my favorite things is chicken noodle soup. And I make the noodles with rosemary inside of them. So they're very, they're very aromatic noodles. It's a very, very delicious dumpling, dumpling consistency noodle. It's chewy and Oh, that's, I get a lot of good compliments from that. What are advantages and disadvantages of cooking? Well, the advantage that's easiest for everyone is the fact that it's healthier. Cooking at home is always healthier because you control the ingredients. You control what you add to what you're making. Another very strong uh, advantage of cooking at home is it's cheaper a lot cheaper, especially if you cook in bulk and save some for an, a following day. You keep leftovers. Um, when I was growing up, we didn't have much money, so leftovers was something that we really did. We cooked a lot of food and froze it in the refrigerator, in the freezer, I'm sorry, in the freezer so that we had leftover food uh, that was always healthy and and very good for us. A disadvantage would be the time that it takes to cook food, especially um, big meals uh, that have multiple processes, multiple steps. I know that my pork tenderloin takes a long time to make or uh, any time I'm baking something that takes a long time. Uh, another disadvantage is the smell. I absolutely love seafood and cooking fish but I absolutely hate the smell in my house. There is just nothing that gets that smell away other than time. <laughs> you know, it seems like the next day I can tell, oh, I cooked fish. But it was delicious, so it's still a disadvantage for me. What food would you like to learn how to cook? I love cooking, like I said, and I would love to learn all types of food. It's not even unique to one style. I, I can't wait when I go to China to take cooking classes there and learn how to cook authentic Chinese food. I would love to go to Thailand and, and Laos and learn how to cook their, their, their soups. And uh, I love pho. Pho is one of my favorite soups. Um, I would like to learn how to cook those um, those turnover things that was at, that were at the Uzbekistani restaurant. I cannot remember the name of them, but if you know the name of that, it's a triangle uh, meat field pastry that's delicious. It's Uzbekistani in it. If you know the name, leave me a comment because I would love to learn how to cook that. That's that was remarkable. Um, what else? Uh, lechon from the Philippines. Absolutely love lechon. And I think it would be rewarding to cook the pig really slowly over the fire like that. I think that would be something where you can... There was no crash. Every time I hear a horn, I think, oh, crash, but... There never is, which is a good thing. No one gets hurt, but there's something satisfying about that. Like, oh, it happened. I know. But yes, there's, there are many different foods that I would love to learn how to cook. I would love to really learn how to cook something in a wok, like a stir fry, a stir fry in a wok, the authentic way, because I, I just love the texture and the flavor that's imparted in that high heat quick cook. So that's something that I would enjoy to do. Now, if you enjoyed my lesson, hit the like button, share it in your groups on WhatsApp, all the channels. I would love to help many more students come 
to my video lessons and practice with me. If you're new here, think about subscribing to the channel. I have lots of videos. I've been trying to do a video a day and some days I actually put two up because I feel generous. <laughs> actually, now that we've changed, I've changed the, the style of video here for I'm talking to you, I actually kind of enjoy this. I was nervous at first, but this is much faster. It's more efficient and I feel like you get more out of the lesson because you can see me, you can see how I deliver the content, how I deliver the words that I say, how I say my message, how I move, and you can hear how I enunciate, how I add tone and value to specific words to carry meaning. And you'll start to realize that as you listen to more of my, my lessons. You'll learn that if there's something that's particularly interesting, my tone will go up. If it's a question, my tone will go up. You will see my pacing, how fast I speak, how slow I speak, and when I use speed to change what I'm saying. Usually, I will slow down when I'm saying something very important or something that I want you to understand completely. That's the key to learning how to communicate effectively. So, like I said, if you like it, hit the like video. I like having you here. I like seeing your comments. Leave them down below. I'm going to end this video and start working on some comments. I promise you, I am answering comments. I just have so, so many of them every single day which is awesome. It's a great problem. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.